All the way back in October of 1924, Andres Citroën, the car maker, organized an incredible expedition, uh, expedition across Africa. The ambitious and risky objective for the time was to cross the entire African continent from north to south driving cars. This was a first. That was known as the Black Crossing. Well, now, a full century later, Eric Vigoro has achieved the same feat and with another first. As we can see here, he completed it with an electric car. It's been called the Green Crossing. He now joins us uh, on the program. Thank you so much for being with us. Can you tell us, first of all, what made you decide to do this? Uh, thank you for having me today. Um, yeah, to answer your question, it's because I, I found this old book called La Croisière Noire. And uh, when I uh, finished the, to read that book, I realized that two years after that, it will be the centenary of this uh, great expedition, which was a, a very famous uh, event at that time. So I thought that it would be the perfect uh, time for me to organize a new expedition trying to take on the same challenge, but this time with uh, little electric cars, only powered by the solar energy. And that's what we could achieve. So I'm very proud and very happy today. I see. So uh, when I heard about this yesterday with the Citroen, I even joked that, uh, did you use those little abbeys? But I see that you did. I mean, uh, I, I drive an electric car myself, and I find it difficult enough to go from Paris to Nice. So therefore, you didn't have to redu uh, rely too much on the infrastructure. Everything was done by the power of the sun. Yes, exactly. The thing is, we could uh, charge our cars with the um, solar panels that we could carry in each car. We were carrying 44 solar panels in each car, and that was the, the key to make it happen, you know. And we also visited some uh, um, energy re renewable energy plants that we could find on, on our itinerary. And that's how we could uh, cross the entire um, African continent only using uh, uh, renewable energy. So that's... Um, Effectively, that's a world premiere. Now, what was the greatest difficulty or difficulties that you found on this expedition? Uh, one of the biggest difficulty was to cross uh, certain borders. I'm thinking about the, the, the border between Nigeria and, and Cameroon. Um, there was a, a war zone in, in between uh, Nigeria and, um, and, and Cameroon. And thanks to the local authorities, we could get, we could get some... Uh, special forces to uh, help us to cross this dangerous part. And that's pretty much the, the most difficult thing we had to, to, to overcome during this uh, expedition. And what about the, uh, the, the physical of it? Uh, I've also uh, done something similar. I crossed the whole of the Arabian uh, continent on a bicycle. And uh, obviously, uh, spending that much time uh, in the saddle or in the driver's seat, uh, it must be quite difficult. How many hours were you doing each day? Uh, we we spent an average of uh, six, seven hours a day in the car. So, yes, I'm very exhausted today because it was a lot of pressure because um, I, I've been pre I prepared this um, this expedition for three years and uh, we we spent uh, four months on the roads, on the trails in Africa. So, um, yeah, today I feel very relief and uh, and also very happy because it was a lot of uh, a lot of pressure on me, and now I'm very happy because we made it 100 years after André Citroën, so I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. That's wonderful. I imagine you, uh, did you raise money for uh, any causes uh, with this expedition? Um, not really, but we could share the, the experience with a lot of uh, students and, and people, uh, and we visited a lot of initiatives. I had a hard time myself to close my budget to make it happen, you know, so... Finding sponsor when you say that when you are planning to cross the African continent with all the risk associated with this kind of a project, it was really, really challenging for me to, to raise a proper budget. But the, be the best we could do was to share our experience. And we had great time meeting a lot of people, a lot of students, and that was a great experience for, for all of us. Now you spent the last three years planning this and then carrying it out. What have you got next? Any other trips up your sleeve? Um, you know, uh, André Citroën was really uh, 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 dynamic in the sense that he organized several uh, uh, expeditions uh, over the world, across the world, and the next one will be the, the centenary of La Croisière Jaune, and uh, it's going to be in six years, so we'll see if I can uh, make it happen. It, it will be also very challenging, but uh, let's, let's try, let's see. We'll see in the future. La Croisière Jaune, what is that exactly, very quickly? La Croisière Jaune was the same kind of expedition, but uh, in the Azure part. 
it, it was um, a different destination, but um, very challenging as well. That's fascinating. Thank you very much uh, for being with us uh, with those stories and uh, very good luck for your future expeditions. Uh, it's uh, really great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.